Hi guys! So I feel like I always do this. I was just fuddling away, doing some gel printing, and then I thought, oh, I might share those just before I cut them up into a million pieces. And then I thought I should have actually probably filmed the process because some of you might not gel print and you're probably going to say um, yes to a tu tutorial. So sorry about that. Um, I am intending on using them in my um, album too and I did promise from beginning to end so I'm going to have to do some more. Okay so I will do a tutorial where I do more. Let's just call this a practice um, and yay they came out okay. <laughs> um, so this is a mix. I've used um, this one here. Um, I have used that rust dyed paper um, and I've just done a gel print on there. Just acrylic paints, um, just using stencils, but I was quite happy with how that came out. Um, I did a double sided, because I wanted some leaves and I didn't want um, just cutouts, so I have put some real leaves onto my gel print and then I have um, just double sided them with green so that if you see the other side poking out off the edge it's not going to be white card um, and I've just put a little bit of ink around and then I've cut them out obviously um, but I like how the veins and everything look a lot more natural than um, just regular um, fussy cuts and this is during the process of making those leaves so um, that's basically just removing the ink from around the leaves so that it brings back the impression and um, I've double, double sided that one I don't think I'll cut those ones out I think I've got enough uh, so I might use that as a um, journal page uh, what else have we got here oh that was just um, the leftover paint that I had so I smeared it all over um, and just printed it but that's going to be really useful. Some of these I'll use for pockets and envelopes and things and some I will use as pages. Um, once again, that was just a um, obviously a piece of encyclopedia paper where I needed to take off some of the paint but that could make a, a really cute little pocket if I'm doing like five different pockets and I want, want to add a little bit of an element of green. Again, this is just the scrap paper but I do like to keep these just in case. Um, I had a little bit left over of the leaf imprint, so I chucked um, a piece of encyclopedia on there. Um, I can use complete scrap paper, but sometimes you come up with something like this that you think, oh, I could use that. <laughs> I wish I had have done it on some better paper. Um, that one I'm intending on, because it's acrylic paint, it should be okay if I run over... Um, I don't like bright white with some tea or coffee um, and it should just hit in between I haven't done that yet though this is one of my favorites and again that's just um, stencils but it's um, using the negative and the positive so this is what I mean I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do one aren't I a tutorial um, this one I don't know if you can see it in this light and once again sorry I'm on my bed, it is night time, I have my bedroom light on, um, but you can see a little bit of the gold leaves that I've done there. Um, and this one should show up a little bit better, hopefully. Yeah, so that's what I was um, playing around with today, um, one of Sam Poole's beautiful green prints that I've been hunting through our folders and printing off as many as I can. Um, this is from the French Greens and I've just um, put some paint on some leaves, rolled it on with the roller and then pressed them onto here. Okay, so that is it. Um, feel free to tell me off in the comments um, and say, yes, you should have filmed this. What were you thinking? Um, because I, I would have a laugh, um, but that would also be um, quite confirming for me that yeah I just I should be filming stuff but this could have been terrible and then I would have filmed it for no reason yeah no I should have just filmed it okay guys well I hope um if you do know how to gel print that um and you have a gel plate that these helped I also have a recipe for a um gel print made out of glycerin water and gelatin um powdered gelatin 
and that's quite an expensive way of making a gel plate but if you can afford to um, invest in one they last forever if you look after them um, and it's one of the tools of my art that I just have a ball with um, I could easily scan these papers and make them into digitals as well and then that's not someone else's digital that's my original artwork so um, yeah let me know in the comments what you think if you found this helpful um, tell me off if you want to that's fine too and um, I'll see you next time